we just got up to Awakino Friday night and uh, we're gonna go for a quick swim. Before the sun goes down and I'm gonna take my fishing rods. And Rebecca's taking hers. And we'll uh, have a quick swim and a quick fish and then Dad's got the barbecue going up here. So uh, come back and have a barbecue. Alright, no fish for dinner, didn't even get a bite, but anyway, it was nice down here, nice and peaceful, uh, got some grounding in, had a good swim, and slowly watching the sun go down, so it wasn't all bad, anyway, I'm going to head back up, and uh, apparently Dad's got some steak, so we'll have, have to have a barbecue. I think too exciting to report about. Everything's really coming along nicely. Check out these potatoes here. Um, potatoes over here are uh, going crazy. So uh, brassicas are starting to come up. These ones, not under the cover, are taking a bit of a beating. So I just come out every now and then. These ones under the netting are doing a lot better. Lots of tomatoes coming through here. Zucchini, look at these guys go. We're getting about probably one and a half zucchinis a day. Uh, coming through so that's really cool pumpkins we got a little baby a few little butternut squash coming along there which is cool and um, yeah more tomatoes over here these are the corn coming up we were going away for about a week though so uh, it's a little bit dry so I'm hoping the rain comes and we don't come back to it to a drought or to everything dried out but anyway that's that's the gardening so it's lunch time and uh, today I have what is pretty plain but um, my go-to meal when I'm lazy so what I've got today is bone broth, bone broth meat salt and some organic cheese and that's it it's just to get something in me and, um, for the day. Usually I'd add some veggies, but we've got nothing in the fridge at the moment. Super, super lazy meal, but enough about food. This week's book, uh, You Can Farm by Joel Salatin of Polyface Farms. Uh, so I've read a few of his books. Folks, this ain't normal. I love that book. Like, loved it. I've literally just started this, you know, like, I think I'm the first two chapters in. Um, so I can't really comment too much about it, but yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. The plan here in New Zealand is to get some land so we can do a little bit of farming, you know, a little self-sufficient lifestyle off-grid, semi-off-grid, semi-self-reliant. You know, I have the chooks, I have maybe one or two cattle. I like the idea of reading books that are applicable to what you're doing in current time, you know, like I was reading a lot of marketing books when I was doing a big marketing push, right? Um, so this kind of doesn't fit the mold 100% because I only have this little backyard section, but I'm hoping any day now we get we get a, we get a section. And if you do have any book recommendations for me, I'll definitely add it to my list and I'll check it out sometime. So talk to you later on. So training time, that time of the week. Just had my pre-workout, a uh, little bit of that keto pre-workout some aminos and some baking soda. Gonna bust out a few, few sets of deadlifts here. Just doing a warm up here with one, uh, oh, 140s. Uh, we'll work up, I don't know, maybe around that 200 mark again. Maybe a few chin ups and then maybe a floor press. Haven't done that for a while. And uh, if I've got time, I might do some front squats.
Mm. All right, so this is all the weight that I have. Two, four, six, eight. I got a five and two fives here, so another 10. 10, same on that side, 200 plus a bar, 20, so 220. You know, that's a, that's a lot of weight for someone who hasn't really been deadlifting for a while or doing any strength programming, so if I get it up, then at least you know. Uh, you can get strong without following advanced programs or doing five times a week training. If I don't get it up, then you can turn around and laugh at me and say, well, that's what happens when you don't train properly. Let's go and see how I perform. All right, got four out. Not too bad, I wanted the fifth, but that last one, that last one was uh, shake material, so I figured I'd just call it there. But I uh, don't know if you noticed, but I had a little cheerleading squad coming at the end, <laughs> which is a bit of a laugh. But yeah, that was good, huh? So 220 kilos, four reps, haven't deadlifted in five weeks, maybe. Haven't done any strength programming for a long time. That's all the weight I have, so I, I can't go up. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Go me. Alright, floor presses are done. Booked up to the one set at a uh, hundred kilos. And five reps at a hundred. Full pause at the bottom, you know, proper strict floor presses. Drop set down to 80, did I think six or there. And drop set down to 60, which I got over there. And I did uh, 12 there, 13 there. So that's me, got a good chest pump on. <laughs> uh, that's all I'm doing for chest. And now I'm gonna pack up and do a few chin ups, weighted shins, same thing, drop set down. And Rebecca's already sit in, it's nearly ready, so. No front squats today. Actually, that'll be it for the year. Crazy. So anyway, let's finish this up. That's it. I'm done. I'm pooped. That was actually really hard. Oh, I just had no strength in me, so it was those heavy deadlifts. But anyway, that's a wrap for me. Another training session done for the week. Uh, short and sweet, huh? Hey, so uh, I mentioned that I'm, I'm about to go away for a few weeks um, of Christmas and New Year's and uh, I ordered a bunch of supplements from my supplement shop iHerb um, and thankfully it arrived. I thought it would be a good video to show you what I got um, specifically for, for traveling. First thing in here, I don't recall ordering these. Um, maybe it was a freebie. That could actually come in, in, in handy. Wrap up some leftover ham and, and some salads. Uh, what else we got? P -P PQQ, life extension, which is good. Antioxidant, I'll be taking one of those, maybe two of those a day. Uh, calcium deglucurate, uh, Rebecca wanted this for her skin as we get ready for the wedding. Raw thyroid uh, extract, that's not necessarily for the holidays, but um, just something I have in, on hand. Likewise with selenium. Uh, Stress B, the thorn product. This is um, this is a, a good one to have when you're traveling or you know having some alcohol or you know, getting sun under stress. Not that we'll be under stress, but you know it is holiday time, so thorn products really good. Uh, some organic maple syrup, uh, curcumin, anti-inflammatory. Um, yeah, again, this will be used when we get some sun and. Just when we're traveling, big bottle of vitamin C here because I was getting low. Peppermint extract in case they make some um, mint slice. Zinc, 
because I was getting low and I haven't had oysters for a while. Uh, kelp noodles for salads and stuff. Some extra magnesium for sleep. Mary sauce, organic. So that's handy to have instead of soy sauce. I actually, I actually want to make some brisket, smoke some brisket, and I just realized I was meant to get it out of the freezer today. I'm gonna to have to go do that now. That's my new supplements. No, I'm gonna go get that brisket. It's a little bit too big to put in the barbecue, so I'm gonna to have to try to thaw it out and um, cut it in half. Switch off for a while. <laughs> Christmas came a few days early for me. I uh, treated myself to a few new toys for my, my gym set up here. So I uh, just turned up Friday afternoon before the holidays. So uh, perfect timing, otherwise I would have been waiting a couple weeks. So I got a bunch of kettlebells in here to complete the set. Oh, we got an inversion table here. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to hanging around on that. Another mat to complete my uh, my floor there. Uh, one more weight plate and um, a few handles in here too so I can do rows. It's really hard to do like super slow rows with the barbell and I don't really have any dumbbells and kettlebells. I don't, I don't really like rowing with them. So I got these and um, I'll use them with my bands and then I'll be able to do slow sort of row movements with that and I'm sure I'll be able to do some pull downs and whatnot and more toys for the gym. Excited, exciting, my Christmas present. So um, yeah, the inversion table will be fun. I've been look looking forward to having one of them for a long time. Just, you know, just have some lower back injuries and sometimes it's nice just hanging, right? Like even, even hanging this way, like sometimes that just helps at the end of the day. I don't have time to unpack all this stuff. I've got like two hours before Rebecca gets home and I promised her uh, I'll switch off, we'd go out for dinner, uh, have a few drinks, enjoy. It's, it's her last day at work, so enjoy the end of the year, celebrate you know, the good wins I've had this year work-wise. And, um, and then we're going away first thing tomorrow morning. So I've literally got like two hours to finish about 50 things on my to-do list. But these toys will have to wait, but uh, I'm excited.